Hi, my name is Michelle Reitler, and I'm the science teacher for IDEA, and I wanted to walk you through how to navigate the elementary Moodle courses, especially when it comes to using Google Drive. Many people have had a difficulty because they like Google Drive, but they're having a hard time getting things into Moodle and vice versa. So I'm going to show you the quick and easy way of doing that. But first, what I wanted to show you was the grades tab in Moodle. When you click on the grade, when you get to a course as a student, the only thing you see in the administration tab, other than changing your profile, is the grades. So when I click on my grades here, I can see all of my grades and also the feedback that was given by my contact teacher. Now, if you're in an elementary class, because the grades thing works for regardless of level, but if you're in an elementary class, keep in mind that even though the range is zero to four, it's a developmental scale. So ignore the percentage column because it's misleading. A four means that you're working way above grade level and it does not mean anything with regards to percentage grades. So keep that in mind. Um, so if your kid's doing calculus and he's a fifth grader, then yes, he would be getting a four in math, but hopefully he'd be in an actual calculus class at that point. Otherwise, if they're working on grade level and they're chugging along, just it'll still say 75%. Don't let that freak you out. It's totally okay because this is a developmental scale, but Moodle's not set up for developmental. So you're gonna see a misleading percentage. Please ignore that. But do definitely look at the feedback. And the nice thing here is that you can see all of your feedback at once. And you can click into each assignment by just clicking from the grades. So that's really, really nice. So let me take you to Drive and show you how to set it up and set your sharings and then show you what to do with that with Moodle. So here's a very empty Drive folder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder called School. Call it schooling stuff. You can call it whatever you want to. It doesn't matter. But the big thing for school is that you share it. So I've clicked on the share. Let me go back and do that again. Up here under my name, I there's a little icon. It looks like a person with a plus symbol. And I just click on him, and that gives me some options. Now here's the URL to this folder. But the thing that's really interesting is right here where it says private, only I have access. I want to change that. What I want to change that with is anyone with the link can view this. Now, can view is automatic. It's default, but do, do, do definitely double check that. So I'm going to say save and done. And then what that does is, is that any folder I put in that school folder, I can then, it's automatically shared. I don't have to remember to change the sharing settings and share with my teacher, because what if you're great grandmother's aunt wants to see what your kids have been doing in math. Well, to remember to share with her email and it has to be a Gmail address and all that other stuff, it's a giant pain in your patookas. So you don't want to do that. What you want to do is just share anyone with the link. Then you can just send them the link. They can look at it. They don't have to have a Google account. They don't have to have any of that. They can still see it. But it's not searchable in Google still, so your stuff remains private because they don't have the link directly to your stuff. Okay, so now in each one, I'm going to make a folder per child per school year. So here's me for 2013-14. And let's say I have another student named Susie. 2013-14. And I put the years on there so it's easier to keep track. So Jimmy has a couple of classes, math, and he's got English, and he's got science, and he's got social studies. And let's assume that I'm doing the same thing for Susie. And each one of these, if you see, it still has the anyone with the link can share. Now you can unshare by clicking on this folder menu. You can unshare any individual item or any individual folder. That is entirely up to you. But the default will maintain what the master has been set to. So whatever the biggest folder it's in is set to is what it's going to automatically default to. But you can then go ahead and change those sharings if you need to. So in English, let's say we're going to have a couple of different months. So let's say January, 
and I'm going to put a February in there. So in January, I'm going to have a couple of samples, and I'm going to click Upload and Files. And here's some Corgi pictures. So in order to choose multiple files, you don't have to go in through it multiple times. You just hold down the Control button and click the ones you want, and then it collects all it collects the ones that I've clicked, and then I say Open and Upload and Share, and there they go. So they're uploading at this moment, and they show up in the folder as we go along. And there's my five folders for English, for January, for Jimmy. So, and I can tell where I'm at because this right here, up here, is called a breadcrumbs trail. So this is my drive, school, Jimmy, English, January. So I know exactly where I'm at and I'm able to um, figure out very quickly where I've been. So I'm still in the January folder. I'm not sharing individual items because I don't want to. What I wanna do is just share my folder and then put stuff into the folder as I get it. So I'm gonna click on the folder name and you know that you're doing the folder and not an individual file because up here in the URL, it says folders. So I'm gonna copy that and by copy, I hold the control button down and push the C for copy um, button. And now I'm gonna go over to my Moodle. And here's one where it says submission comments. I click on that in my upload and I'm going to paste it. So there's my Google Drive folder for English for Jimmy for January. I'm gonna save it and then I'm done. Now I can pre-set up all of those folders, January, February, et cetera, and I can load each one into all of his assignments for that Moodle class ahead of time. So the folder designations are already in there. That takes about 30 seconds per assignment. And then as I go along, I can just load it into my folders in Drive. And then when it comes time for my contact teacher to review my submission assignments or my portfolio assignments, all, it's already linked to that folder. They just click on the link and it takes them right out there um, by, by doing that. And so it's pretty straightforward and pretty time efficient because then all I'm doing is putting stuff into this folder and I go, oh, no, we did something cooler, so I don't want that one. I'm going to delete it and I'm going to add something different. So I'm going to file, let's see, I'm going to pick another picture. Here's one on the annular eclipse. I'm going to upload it. That's the one I want. And there it is in my folder. And so now when my teacher clicks on that submission comments, they see the most updated stuff that I've put in that particular folder. So hopefully this will help you. Remember, always go to your grades first. So when we're looking at the front page, the only thing under the administration tab, and if it's, if it's short, you just push the little plus button. The only thing in there is grades. You click on grades and you can very quickly go to a particular item and go, well, I did submit that because it comes up in green. So here it is in green, so I know I submitted it. Even if the grade's not in there, I know I submitted it and I know that it's just waiting for the teacher to grade it. In this case, she has graded it. But I can put it in that comment section and paste it, control, P, uh, control V as in Victor. I can paste it and there's my new folder. And I go, oh, wait, I want a different one. So here we go, I'm gonna get rid of that. And there we go. So now I have my new comment because I changed my folder designation. And that's really all you gotta do. So go ahead and make up your folders, preload them into your assignments. That'll take you about a total of 15 minutes. And then all you gotta do in Moodle is go look at your grades. If there's ever anything missing, you can go track it down pretty quickly. If you have any questions outside of um, contacting your contact teacher, which should always be your first shot, you're welcome to contact me. My name is Michelle Reitler. You can find me on the contact page for the school, and I'll be happy to help you out with any drive issues. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.